Okay, hello everyone. This is Victor Momo from Excel Moments and it's been a moment. Uh, so here's the solution to a question that I was asked you know, on Twitter. I'll tell you that a lot of these solutions already exist online. You know, but sometimes I like to record the videos in the event I forget how to do it tomorrow. <laughs> I have a place to come back to and that's what you know this is about. And the question was really simple. The person was trying to conditionally format data labels in such a way that positives you know show up with a different color, negatives show up with a different color. So as you can see, the positives in terms of data labels now have a green background, white font, and then the negatives have you know. Um, red background with white font. Of course, you can go, you know, bar by bar and then change the data labels, but that's not going to be an efficient solution, especially if the data can change. So I've set this up with random numbers so that I can use F9 to trigger you know, recalculation and you see what happens. So if data changes, you can see that the positives always remain the same, negatives still maintain, you know, their formatting. Okay, so how do you achieve this? Very simple. But I've created a lot of illusions to kind of make it look like, oh, I'm not doing what it is I'm doing. That's actually what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so let's go to a new sheet and I'll just kind of walk you through, you know, what the solution looks like. Okay, so let me maybe increase the font here a little. All right, so the secret is actually to create, you know, two series. And for those who are very familiar with charts, you probably already figured, you know, that that was what I did. Okay, so we we'll have a series for the positives and we we'll have a series for the negatives. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, you know, uh, positive series and then I'll say negative series. Okay, so now for the positives, I'm just going to um, write a simple if function so if the number is positive i want it to show up else i want it to show as na and you will see why i'm putting them as na and not blank here so i'm going to say if so if the number here is positive let's just use maybe greater than equals to zero so return the same number else return you know na okay so you know there's an any function right okay now you know all right so close that take that down you do the same for the negative so if this is less than zero you want the number to show up else you want what your na okay right so what you're going to have essentially called hba or hoi is two series you know where for the positives only the positive numbers show up n is you know uh, representing the negatives and the converse is also the case for the negative series so this is actually what you plot right and not the single series itself so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select date then i select both positive and negative and then i go to insert i could do recommended charts now this is not like me looking for you know best visualization i'm just trying to get something you know that works okay so i do okay and then i have a chart that looks like this, right? Of course, I'm going to take out a few things. Maybe this, you know, kind of looks very ugly. I don't know. I probably would pick a different, you know, layout here. Yeah, maybe this. Okay, fine. <clears throat> Good. Okay, so we just need to do, you know, some little housekeeping. So what I'm going to do first is I select one of the bars in the negative series. Okay, so that's that selected. Then here I can now add data labels. So I could do the plus and then say data labels. Okay, so you can see that it adds the NAs and it also adds, um, you know, the data labels for the negative. So I just select them and then I format. So maybe here I'm going to do a few. I'm going to do, in my case, I think I did red right and then the font i could use the home tab and then i do white okay something like that okay good so now i select one on the positive side same thing and then i add data labels right okay so i do maybe for the few i think here i do like a green right then i do a white font okay so now it looks like you know a whole mess <laughs> but we can at least you know get to clean it up slightly so the next thing is just to make sure that the n is you know don't show up so what you do is you right click the chart and you go to select it and you have a very beautiful option here which most people hardly ever see 
If you look in here, you will see hidden and empty cells. So you click hidden and empty cells, and then you say, oh, show empty cells as gaps, show NA as an empty cell. So I select this to show NA as an empty cell. I do OK. And I do OK. OK. And now you can see that it's much cleaner, right? So now positives have, you know, a different data label. Negatives have a different one. But of course, if I use different colors for the bars, it's going to be obvious that I have two series. So to make it look like I have one, I just make sure that you know I'm using the same, um, you know, fill color for both of them. So I could say for the fill here, you know, I could select maybe this shade of blue, okay, and then for the negatives too, I select the same shade of blue too, okay. So it now feels like you know it's actually one series, but um, you know, having that distinction between negatives and positives. You could do something with the, um, you know, the dates here, maybe the number formatting. So do format axis. You could also press control one. You come down here to number. I may just change the format to show just the month and the year. Okay. So it's already on custom. So I'm just going to do maybe MMM, you know, YY, something like that. Okay. And then I add that. Okay. Like I said, it's not like it's going to be the neatest, you know, chart ever. But the point was trying to show you, you know, how you can create that illusion. So now you have something that looks like it works. Okay, so let's just use F9 to kind of, uh, you know, randomize and then see that, you know, things are not falling apart. Okay. All right. So you can see that as you're pressing F9, you know, you still have things in the right places. Uh, you could actually maybe also play around with the overlaps kind of look very, very <laughs> thin. So I could reduce maybe the gap width, you know, just to create, you know, something looks a little, you know, much better. Okay. Then you could also decide to fix, you know, your um, axis, a maximum and minimum, just so that it remains constant and then things are just moving around. Okay. So that's really, you know, how to get it work. So be very challenging you know to do it with one series so you just create two series and it was a case of maybe you wanted to have maybe positives greater than a certain number you know then positives maybe greater than another number and then negatives you may have to create you know three series to get that done the first thing i was thinking about you know when doing it was if you wanted you know just the font colors for example of the data labels to be different for that one you can use a simple you know custom formatting let me show you what i mean in that case um so i'm going to duplicate this okay maybe there's something else i should add here you know at the end of the day you want to hide this right so you want to hide these two columns so people don't know what it is you've done but the moment you hide you notice that the data also disappears right okay so now if you right click the chart and you go to select data then you go back into hidden and empty cells. Okay, you see this checkbox here. You can see show data in hidden rows and columns. So you do that, and then this guy is back. So that way, you know, you can still create that illusion of oh, the person thinks you are just using this series. <laughs> Whereas there's a lot going on, you know, at the back end. Okay, so let me just copy this and um, go to a new sheet. Let's do this here. I always like to take grid lines off um so alt w v g okay so in this case i'm just going to plot another graph i could use alt f1 which would just give me a default you know that's just plotting the graph but i think i changed my default to a pie chart and that was when i was trying to demonstrate something you know on uh, twitter so i'm just going to use recommended and maybe i'm just going to use something like this which looks very ugly but just to make a point right okay so now let's just expand this. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add data labels. So in this case, of course, once I add the data labels, it's going to add to both positive and negative, right? Because it's essentially one series. So that's what's going to happen. Okay. So now you may want to create that distinction between positive and negatives. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the number formatting, you know, to kind of create, you know, say positives as, you know, maybe blue and then negatives as red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press control one. This takes me into the format data labels pane. So I expand numbers and then I go down here to the format code. It's simple, you know, just do something like this, say, you know, blue, put it in square brackets, you know, and then put the format you want for positive numbers. I could say, I just want it to show up as a zero. That's okay for me. Then for negative numbers, I just put the square bracket again and say red. 
And then for this one, maybe I want to put it in brackets, kind of like, you know, the number should be in like parentheses. Okay. And I do add, you know, so you see what happens now, right? Positive numbers show up with blue, the negative numbers show up as red, you know, and um, with a different formatting in the sense of parentheses. So as you kind of change, even if you press, you know, F9, the point is that the bars would, you know, respond accordingly. If it's positive, it's going to pick up the formatting. If it's negative, it's going to pick up the formatting. This is the simple one, you know, to do. But the moment you start to think of changing, you know, the background, as in for the data labels, like say, I want to have a red background, green background you can achieve that at least not using you know the custom number formatting so hence the need to do what we did here create you know two series and then set formatting up separately so i hope you've learned something you know from this video i don't do a lot of videos on you know chat visualization maybe i'm you know more a formula guy but of course i can always do this when or if i need to do that so i hope you've enjoyed the video if you like the video please hit the like button Thanks to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. Of course, more subscribers would always be welcome. So please do subscribe if you haven't. So for now, I'm out.